Given the opportunities for creativity and innovation that the web holds uh, for the present and the future, do you think we are developing the right skills for young people to excel and make the most of this environment? What are the key skills that the students of the future should be taught in this respect? Well, in a way, we, we, we have two digital divides. We have a famous digital divide between the people who have access to the web and the people who don't have access to the web. And that's important. Uh, obviously, more and more people get it every, every year. But of the people who have access to the web, then we have another digital divide of those that can program a computer. If you can write a program, then you're, uh, you're in a different class because you look at a computer a different way. If, you can if you've learned to write a program and you look at a computer and you, you, you think, you know, that could be better. You don't take it for granted. If you don't program, haven't learned to program in a way people assume that computer that it's like a refrigerator. It's, a, it's like an appliance. They open it, do, does the same thing. What we need is more people who understand what's possible. Importantly, not just people whose job is going to be programming, but people whose job is going to be making laws and policy. Because if you're making a law about a computer, you've got to when you, you've got to look at it and realize all the potential of things, you know, all the types of, imagine what sort of program other people could do. Imagine if you're, think, if you're making re regulation about what should happen to personal data. You've got to think about the programs that somebody could write to repurpose that personal data and realize what impact that could have. So very broadly, I think early on, children should be exposed to uh, programming. See whether they like it, see whether it clicks. With some people it clicks, with some people it doesn't. And with those that it clicks, then they should, uh, they should pick it up, keep, uh, keep doing it. It's, it's a lot of fun. They should keep it. Maybe they'll keep it as a, hob as a hob uh, hobby, like music or art, uh, while they do their main job of being a lawyer. But having that, being but having that ability to program is just going to be one of the really important things in this uh, era of uh, digital enlightenment. The report by the Oxford Internet Institute entitled Towards a Future Internet Interrelations Between Technological, Social and Economic Aspects uh, identifies several scenarios for the future of the Internet. The most emblematic one are commercial Big Brother, where the Internet becomes a heavily commercialized platform, and Power to the People, where the Internet is a platform enhancing democracy and participation in public life. What policy actions do you think are needed to ensure that the internet remains an open platform serving the interest of citizens? I think that we've had a very healthy attitude uh, up till now that government should not interfere with the internet because the way it worked, uh, running across uh, uh, between different countries, uh, worked you know, fairly well unregulated. However, that was in the early days when there were no commercial pressures. Now there are very strong commercial pressures. The big brother, instead of being just the, the, the worry about the government being a big brother, there's the big brother company. And so, in fact, I think we need to make sure that we don't end up in the big brother scenario, but have this wonderful free and open inter uh, internet. I think we all need to think about what sort of a web we actually want, think about the freedoms that we need, and I think proactively we need to establish a, as the brilliants are, uh, are doing with the Marco Civil the Internet, to get uh, to make a charter a uh, of about the rights on the internet. What are my rights as an individual? What are my rights? What are the rights as a as a company? Uh, the right to be able to communicate. Are you and me to communicate over the internet without being spied on, for example? The right to be able to read whatever I want, the right to be able to write and publish out there. Um, I think those really important rights supporting education, uh, supporting health, and of course, all importantly, supporting democracy.